Lane and Harry still at odds. Just got home. I said, we're not. We're not at odds, brother. And Lane's relationship with Harry just changed. So, it's what it is. Ain't that deep though. Causes shit in Lane's perspective towards Harry. The text message, Harry, bro. You, you block somebody's number, that changes things. Like it's just how it goes, man. How many times I gotta explain this? You guys gotta understand, right? Like, and this, it's not really even that deep. There's just, there's just never a situation where Lang sees somebody texting him that they need help, or that they're in trouble, that the response is, I'm just blocking your number. Unless he hates the motherfucker. <laughs> but that's just how he views it. Like, there's never a situation, no matter how under his skin Tony gets, Harry, Luciano, he's never just gonna, if they're texting him like they need help or whatever, he's never just gonna respond to by blocking their number. That's shit that he does to people he just does not fuck with. Period. Like, you know, like, obviously, like, he could be busy, this, this, that. There could be a plethora of excuses that are valid. But, like, blocking somebody's number straight up as a response is, like, he's just not going to take that. You say texting like a madman, so you never say it does not matter. It does not matter what the reason is or what the, the response is, dude. The response was the number was blocked. Like, understand, like, you have to isolate that. Okay, isolate that in your mind. I hear that fuck that song. <laughs> so Lang was over that? I mean, Lang, he's over. He doesn't care. I'm just explaining to chat why their relationship is different now. He doesn't care to make it a big deal. He doesn't care to call it out. It is what it is. Do that. Everyone said, dude, if Lang, if Lang did that, oh my God. If Lang did that, bro, holy shit. Uh, it would have been over. At least six hate threats for sure, too, on top. So I want to bring that in the Don's meeting if it, was, if it was that serious. The thing is, it's not serious. There, there's no point in bringing this into a meeting because it's not going to change anything. It's the character realizing where another character stands and how they're willing to operate. Yeah, but it's not about it's not about the, the fact that Harry was busy doing shit, man. Like, that doesn't matter. Bro, people watch on mute. People watch on mute. You could have been like, I'm busy. Call somebody else. Boom. Doesn't matter if he was busy or not, brother. It's the response was the blockage of the number, man. Like he could have literally just not responded, too. Just left it on red. It's the action of okay, I'm gonna take an extra action and block your number. But that's where Lang's like, whoa, okay, fuck you. I mean, Lang gets left on red all the time. Does he bitch, bitch people out, lose his mind? Yeah, but he gets over it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's, it's the difference though. The difference is okay. And on top of that. Lang had Harry's back seriously yesterday over all the Tony and fucking the weed shit and everything. <laughs> so, you know, it's just kind of just, it was just interesting for him to see, like, the response. Like, Lang, is, Lang, was, Lang, Lang was always willing to be a hypocrite and change his word all the time when it, like, came to Harry, you know? A bad change of 4.0? I mean, I, I don't mind it. Like, I'm, I'm always down for, for, for new paths with people. Like, like I said, I, I couldn't be more happy with how like Lang is blending old people in his life and new people in his life like it's like a perfect balance right now I really enjoy it we're interacting with a lot of new characters but we're also keeping a lot of characters that we love being around around Lang